Welcome, welcome, welcome to the powerful Dr. Rass up singing in the national ministry where there's power in the Holy Spirit. This is for August the 13th, 2023. Dr. Rass up singing in the national ministry. Men and women of God, you need to get excited about the great things that God is doing. We're seeing a manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit constantly moving men and women of God. We're seeing the miraculous take place as I speak. We're going to get ready to start this program, but without any further delay, I'm going to go ahead and start off with a power a prayer so the Holy Spirit can move in this place so we can soak and saturate the airways. And like always, I'm Dr. Ralph Sepp Sr., Reverend Dr. Minister Pastor Ralph Sepp Sr., and I am with the great and wonderful, lovely lady, Catherine Sepp. And we're going to start this thing off with a power prayer. In the name of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, I thank you for shining down upon us lifting us up through situations and circumstances, giving us the power of the miraculous, opening doors that need to be opened and closing doors that need to be closed. We thank you for power, strength, and clarity. I pray in the name of the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. God is moving and he is worthy to be praised. So without any further delay, I give you the powerful and beautiful Lady Catherine Sepp. Today's title is God is Omnipresent. Thankfully, my Christian brothers and sisters, we serve a wonderful God, which is omnipresent. This means that God is every place at the same time. No matter how bad things get in our lives, God is always present and he is there for us. You know, Lady Catherine said that's one of the tricks of the devil. He wants to convince us that God has somehow abandoned us. He wants to convince us that God is not faithful and true. We serve a powerful, omnipresent God who's omniscient. He's the great God. He is the great I am. Men and women of God, whatever you go through, God is always present. God has angels which encamp around you 24 hours a day. If it wasn't for these angels protecting you, men and women of God, you would have been destroyed a long time ago. Satan is a liar and a thief, and he's not to be believed. So we have to understand that God is the only one that is omnipresent. That means that God is everywhere. At the same time, men and women of God, God is the creator of all existence. That includes the universe. That includes mankind. That includes the stars and the galaxies, men and women of God. Who would not want to serve a powerful and wonderful God like that, men and women of God? Even when you're at your lowest point, even when it looks like you have no options, even when it seems that all the cars are down, men and women of God, you have a wonderful God who's there for you. No, he never abandoned you. No, he never forgot you. No, he never stopped loving you, men and women of God. Despite where you're at in your Christian walk, God is with you at all times. You know, when you go through your lowest point, as a matter of fact, God is there even more. Many times we go through a series of tests, and these tests determine our faith, our spirituality, and it helps God to evaluate us and determine what he's going to put us on the next level. See, you know, we have to understand that when God does something in our life, many times it's to prune us. Many times it's to reprove us. Many times, men and women of God, it is to cut away those things that need to be cut away, men and women of God. Look at Moses. Moses came from luxury. He was raised in a house of Pharaoh with gold, silver, platinum, and all these amenities. Men and or women servants, they even had statues of Moses. But God could not use him like that. He had to lose everything and get down to the bare essence. God was there when he was in Pharaoh's palace. God was there when he was in the desert alone, facing death. And God was also there when he came back to Egypt and did God's will. So we have to understand 
When God shake up things in our lives, many times it's for us to receive the things that God has aligned for us. Now, on the polar side of things, the devil is not everywhere at the same time. See, the devil is a defeated foe. He was defeated on the cross at Calvary. So he has to convince you otherwise. God is a wonderful God. And he is with us in season and out of season. Highs and all lows, it doesn't make a difference. Good or bad, any situation or circumstance, God is always with us. And when you know this, you can rest assured that God is your shepherd and you shall not want. Despite where you choose to spend eternity, whether heaven or hell, God is there. Therefore, our goal must be to live a godly life so we can be in heaven forever. You know, Lady Captain Seb, that's absolutely right. Our goal is heaven, the land of milk and honey, everlasting love, everlasting peace, everything that is godly. No more crying, no more suffering, no more going through difficult times, no more uncertainty. We will be with the love of God forever. Whereas if you go to hell, then it is the polar opposite of that. There's gnashing of teeth, pain, mocking, regret, hopelessness. So men and women of God, there is no reason anyone, and I mean anyone, should want to spend an eternity in the lake of fire. Why not be with the love of Jesus Christ. According to Psalms 139 and 8, if I ascend to heaven, thou art there. In short, what that means is if I live a godly life, if I choose Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, if I treat everyone right, if I do everything according to the blueprint of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I ascend, that means to go up to heaven, then God will be there. As a matter of fact, the Bible verse says that we set in godly places with God already, spiritually men and women of God. But you want your destiny to align with that of God. So you can have peace. So you can have love. So you can have joy. It is the most radiant, wonderful feeling that you can ever experience. The powerful love of God forever and ever and ever. Once again, according to Psalms 139 and 8, if I ascend to heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. You know, a couple of years ago, Lady Catherine herself, she did a beautiful piece talking about heaven and hell. And uh, she broke down thoroughly. As a matter of fact, it's on our YouTube page. And she broke down uh, heaven and hell. There exists a great gulf that is between heaven and hell. Men and women of God, a lot of people don't realize that you can be in heaven and see hell and hell and such. Because in the example that Lady Captain said broke down, talking about Lazarus and the rich man, he was able to see Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. So, but there's a great fixed gulf where you can't go from heaven to hell and hell to heaven. So, it is very, very important that you live a godly life, that you do everything that you need to do right now while the blood percolates through your body. Men and women of God, there is a heaven and there is a hell. And in heaven, there's absolute peace. In heaven, there's everything that concerns love, happiness, joy, radiance. Hell is torture, turmoil, and all those things that includes sadness, regret, and hoping. And wishing and wishing and hoping that you can be with God. 
The most devastating aspect of hell is the absolute void of God's love. Even though he has the power to ascend, or better yet, descend to the depths of hell. So, Lady Captain Sepp, we're going to get ready to stop right there. You know, God has been real, real good, men and women of God. He's omnipresent. He's with you right now. You're never, ever alone. He's always in your corner. He wants you to live a good life. He wants you to live a blessed life. He wants you to enjoy all the amenities of the world, men and women of God. And that includes peace. That includes love, joy, happiness, family, to be fruitful and multiply. Hey, why don't you do yourself a favor, you know, and check out our YouTube page, Dr. Rassep Singh International Ministries. We have like a whole library of powerful videos there to uplift your soul and your spirit and give you the spiritual foundation to break the log jams of the enemy, men and women of God. Also, check us out on Patriot and Kofi. That's Dr. Rasep Senior International Ministries. And you can get a little peep or better yet a little glimpse at the behind the scene working of Dr. Rasep Senior International Ministries. And you can see the power of the Holy Spirit move. Also, check us out on our 24 hour radio station at Xena.fm. Dr. Rasep Senior International Ministries, where you can go over there and get your praise on. Lady Catherine Sepp also has her signature show over there, Ask Lady Catherine, with some new episodes that should be coming very, very soon. So you definitely need to chime into that. You don't want to miss that because there's always something that is mind blowing and provoking men and women of God. We just want to thank you for being here, Dr. Ralph Sepp Sr., International Ministries, and for my wonderful, beautiful, intelligent, and elaborate co-host, Lady Captain Sepp. I am Reverend Pastor Minister Dr. Ralph Sepp Sr. Have a blessed and prosperous one.